Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be the mother of all end of year financial readings and this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, so without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guys, when I get to angels and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding their finances for the rest of this year or whenever they happen to come across this reading. This reading is still timeless, so if you happen to come across this in January, February, or whenever, this message is meant for you. Now, I guarantee there's going to be a message for everyone. I'm going to be using like 15 different decks, so stay tuned. All right, so what messages do we have for career, money, and finances for Pisces? Okay, I see some of you... Um, all right, some of you are doing something and you're, you're being like sneaky about it. Now, I'm not saying it's something bad. Um, I'm hearing project. So there might be a secret project that you're working on. Now, it could be something like that's like a side quiet project um, within the company that you're already with or something that you are looking to do on the side. This could be outside of work, um, but just some kind of secret project, business Something that you're keeping to yourself here. I'm seeing with the Hermit and the uh, Seven of Swords. Okay, so you're really keeping it to yourself. You're like in hush-hush in mode. Um, and, and you're just doing this in, in silence. You might be sneaking off to do something here, work-related. But I'm seeing with the Chariot, whatever it is, you are going to be successful. Okay, you are going to overcome whatever obstacles... Um, you have a lot of self-discipline here, and I feel like that's why, you, for some of you, you might just prefer to do something alone. Um, so if this is something you're supposed to be doing in like a group setting, you might be going off on your own doing extra stuff um, just because you want to you wanna get this done right. You want to stand out. Um, however it pertains to you, this is a general reading. But I definitely see the message here is you're going to be successful and overcome your obstacles for whatever it is that you're doing on the side or whatever, some, something you may be starting on the side. So like I said, you might be doing a full-time job now, but you have like a secret side business that you're working on um, quietly, okay? Um, and I feel for a lot of you, the reason that you're doing this is because you're not sure if it's going to be successful. So you don't want to basically go and tell everybody and then it, you know, it falls through, it doesn't pan out. And then it's like, oh, well, I feel stupid. I shouldn't have said anything. I should have just kept it to myself. So to avoid, you know, negativity from other people or just embarrassment, however it resonates with you, you're just keeping it to yourself. You're not saying anything. Okay, but for what it's worth, you will be successful. Okay, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Pisces regarding their career, money, and finances for the rest of this year? Okay, we have flexibility. Okay, so whatever you're doing on the side, um, for some of you, it's because you like the flexibility of it. This could be the flexibility of having your own uh, career, your own business, uh, your own position. Uh, you might be doing something on the side, like I said, extra work uh, because it may get you a promotion and it has to be kept quiet from others because they don't want people to know that this is this is what's going on behind the scenes. This is what you're doing. Okay, so whatever it is that you got going on, the tarot cards aside, we have flexibility coming up. So if some of you are looking for a job where you want more flexibility, I definitely see that success coming in for you. Okay. So let's see. And if some of you know you haven't been more flexible, then you need to be more flexible. What other messages do we have here for Pisces? Okay. All right. So you guys are fantasizing about something that you love here. So whatever it is that you want to, to do or that you're doing behind the scenes. This is something you've been daydreaming about, you've been fantasizing about, you've been thinking about for a long time and you're really you're really in love with the concept, the idea, the business, whatever it is that you're doing, you're very, very happy about it. It's something that like you've always wanted to do. You love what you're doing. Okay, so now I'm using my initials, traits, and features oracle cards, which are only $25 if you want to buy a set for yourself or if you want to gift a set to someone. 
Uh, you can go to zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. Those links are down below in the description box. Okay, so we're going to just use the initials parts here and see what letters stand out, what initials. So this can be um, somebody that you're working with, their initials. This might be um, the name of the company, the name of, you know, um, whatever business it is you're, you're looking to do. I'm seeing here um, P and U. Um, push-ups is coming through. Um, I don't know if that has to do something with, um, I'm getting push-ups. I'm hearing like military or, um, uh, what is it? Um, not physical therapy. Um, like a personal trainer, uh, when you, you, you know, doing push-ups and, and I can't think of the name right now. Oh my God. Physical trainer, um, like uh, working out, you know, uh, helping people um, in that uh, genre of work. I'm sorry, I can't think of the name right now. If you know what I'm talking about, please, please write it down below. Make a comment because um, I, I do read all the comments and for the most part, I do respond. Okay, but this could be the name of somebody, P, uh, their initials, U, the company, the street name, um, the state they're in, the city they're in, however that resonates. And then we have J. And we have Z, okay? So P, U, J, Z, however those resonate. This way, if you're trying to decide between um, a business or um, people to work with, you know, maybe these initials will tell you, oh yeah, this company, this person. Uh, or if you're just looking to see, okay, I have a couple ideas of what I would like to do as a secret side business, which should I do? Maybe these letters will resonate with you as to the name of um, what you want to do. Okay, so what other messages do we have for Pisces regarding their career, money, and finance? Okay, last shuffle. Okay, nothing from this deck. That's okay. I'm pulling from all of them and whatever is meant to be will be. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for Pisces? What other messages do we have for Pisces? Okay, energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are important, are an important part of your life purpose right now. So you need to charge your batteries. You need some energy healing. I feel for some of you, you are running a little thin. Uh, you're getting tired and you need to recharge your batteries. Okay, so make sure that you definitely take advantage of that. Especially if um, you're doing like two jobs right now, like you're working full time or part time, running a household, you know, just taking care of yourself, whatever it is, you, like full time plus a side business. It, it is very tiresome. I, I am running two businesses myself, so I totally get that. And I have a household to run, so it's it's exhausting. <laughs> So yeah, you definitely need to take some time to charge your batteries. And I know it's tough because you feel if you take a break, like things are slowing down, but that's it. Just take a day or two. A day or two is okay, but like a legit day or two. Okay. Then we have here, what is this? Effervescence, cultivate love. So make sure again, and I love how it's right under the heart. So that's double heart coming through here. Cultivate love. Do what you love. So if you're confused or undecided, like I said before, about what you want to do here, make sure that you, it's something that you love. It's something that you're not going to see as work because you love what you're doing. So it's something that you can easily do every day and be satisfied with because it, it's what you love. It's a passion. Okay, so let's see. I have to shuffle these cards this way because they're uh, hard Difficult for my little hands. Okay, what else could this mean? Okay, so for some of you, you might be a little puzzled. So we have here, there are always multiple ways to look at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? 
Okay, so today's soul action. Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? Very interesting and very relevant. Okay. All right, let's see. What else, what else is, do we have here for Pisces? Okay, what else do we have for Pisces? Okay, thank you. Okay, we have the mind, third eye chakra, openness, flexibility. This is the second time flexibility is making an appearance here. Openness, flexibility, imagination, and learning. So be flexible. Open your mind to new opportunities, new ways of doing things, um, new opportunities, if I didn't say that already, and learning. So you may have to do a little bit of training, and that's okay. All right? All right, let's see. All right, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Pisces regarding your career, finances, and money? Okay, now this is going to be messages from the archangels and the animals. Thank you. Okay, we have snake. Live according to your divine essence, the elemental kingdom. And I'm hearing Lilith. Lilith is also making an appearance here for those of you that work with Lilith. Okay, so we have snake. Live according to your divine essence. So be the best that you can be. Do what you love. That, that, that can't come through enough. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for Pisces? Okay, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Okay, so if this resonates with you, you, you know it's for you. Don't let pride get in your way. I'm being told I don't need to dive deeper into that. If that message is for you, you know exactly what it means. Full moon in Leo. Okay, so if you're looking for timing, look to see when full moon full moon in Leo is. If you're dealing with a person, they may be a Leo. This um, also for timing could just be the next full moon phase depending from when you see this. Then we have the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. And we're going to read this the same way as full moon in Leo. So either you're dealing with a Capricorn. We have two full moons here. So the next full moon phase to, from when you're watching this is very relevant at this time. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for Pisces? Career, money. And finances. What other messages do we have for Pisces? Thank you. Okay. All right. So for those of you with timing, we have a year from now. So if you were asking a question like, when will my business flourish? When will I be successful? Uh, because that's like the, uh, the main question that's coming into my head. Or when will this happen um, a year from now? Okay, so 2022, that is next year. Okay, and this is the end of year reading. So I know a year is 12 months, but um, this is all interpretation. So it could be in 12 months. It could be 2022, next year, you know. Uh, we have recovery here. So for some of you, there may need to be some kind of recovery in order to make this flourish, which might be why it's a year from now. It might take you a year to start this business up and bring it to fruition. So a year from now is when you would then see the business really flourishing because you have to, you have to put the time and effort in. You have to start it up. And if you believe you can do it, you can do it. So you have to have faith in yourself because if you don't have faith in yourself, then how do you expect this to, to flourish and work out, right? All right. Let's see. All 
Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for Pisces? Love yourself. Look, more heart energy, more love energy coming through here. You need to love yourself. Believe. And it's right here next to if you believe. If you believe, you can do it. You have to love yourself. Have faith and confidence in yourself. Pisces, I feel like if you had more confidence and believed in yourself, you'd be able to accomplish a lot more of what of what you wanted to accomplish. It's not, I'm, I'm hearing for some of you, you'll blame it on your surroundings. Like, oh, I, there's always this, there's always that, there's always something going on. No, you're using that for those of you that this resonates with and you'll know who you are. For those of you that use your surroundings as a crutch, it's just you, that's all you're doing is using it as a crutch as, and as an excuse to um, detract you from the fact that you don't have the faith and confidence within yourself to follow through with what you want. Okay, so here we have, if you believe, love yourself, have the self and the confidence. If you believe that you can do it and you can overcome here with recovery, you can overcome that disbelief of yourself, not having faith in yourself, because you, you only need to have the faith in yourself. And then all you need to do is just take your little feet and step and keep going forward and making it towards what you want, which is why for some of you, it may take a year from now for you to get out of that mindset of I can't, it's my surroundings, to know I can, in spite of my surroundings, I can get things done. Okay, it may take me a year, but at least I'll get there and I'll finally be able to do what I've been dreaming about and what I love, okay? Energy healing. Remember, you need some time to heal. Recovery, energy healing. There's multiple messages coming through from different cards, but it's all in cohesive. It's all cohesive, excuse me. Letting go. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. You need to let go of these th thoughts. I can't. Yes, you can, but it's up to you to know that you can. If you believe, you can. It's not for anybody else to support you, take you by the hand, or anything like that. This is something you have to do on your own. Okay, then we have divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. So in other words, screw it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to let go of the negativity and the disbelief that I have, and I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to trust in the universe. And I said trust, and I just flipped this over as I said trust. Trust. Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. Trust in yourself in the universe. Let go, and you will be guided. Okay, but you have to make those moves. The universe is not going to do it for you. You have to have that confidence in yourself to move forward, and then the universe will help guide you on the right path. But if you're standing still, there's free will. That they're not going to push you. You have to start, and it's like, oh, intuition, oh, this way, oh, intuition, oh, okay, left, oh, go straight now, oh, make a right. Okay, that's, that's what you have to do. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little... <laughs> little walking all right peace and love guys stay safe if you want to purchase my oracle deck um i have the products over here in the background i have um spiritual mists enchanted uh, bath salts for money love and attraction my oracle cards for 25 everything is so affordable because i feel that you guys should be able to have this spiritual assistance and guidance without breaking the bank the cards are 25 i got my timing stones here for just 15 and then we have the spiritual mists are $15 each and the bath salts are only $5. Beautiful. Peace and love, guys. Stay safe and I will see you in the next reading.